Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is Avian Graphics. Today we are going to learn on how to design a business card or complementary card in Photoshop. On this particular tutorial, is you will be able to learn how to do your shaping and you will also learn to have some simple and how the plotting or how the the bleeding area the working area or the design area has been done in photoshop before you print it out then you use your plotter to cut it out and it will look so beautiful for you so in this particular tutorial we are going to learn everything and just keep up with this particular this thing and you learn everything on photoshop with me alasan abdurrahim yes so first of all what we need to do is to just go straight to our photoshop just like this and we are going to create a complementary card size or business card size and on this business card is just information about the person or anybody at all around you so i got this job from uh, Wumpini Agro Chemicals and the CEO of Wumpini Agro Chemicals yes and we are going to use his information to do that in this particular system and when you are working try and work according to the person to the person what to the person colors his logo colors and everything the company colors just try and have it just like that so first of all let's just make our changes over here so we are going to use inches over there and it will look so beautiful for us so over here we are going to make it 3.5 okay and then over here we are going to make it two and then we don't want it to be on this we want it landscape so we'll change our landscape this thing to be this and 300 is rational okay rgb will be okay then we'll click off okay. then there is our this thing and you can't when you use the whole of this to do your this thing no one will tell you that after cutting you have to cut some of them so all what you need to do is that you need to come up with a guideline that will help you to get that you get that and i'm going to show you some best and correct uh, guideline that you normally do and this is what this is what i normally use to do my business card without any problem so first of all i'll just come and pick a drag a listing over here to have it something like this then i'll drag another one to have it something like that and this is not just a manual but it looks so beautiful then i'll drag somewhere here you see that i have those listings just like that okay and the next thing again i have to do is to come over to the rectangular market tool over here then i'll just choose any rectangular market tool just like that over there i want it so big and then i will change the color to somewhere red just like that okay and the next thing again i have to do is to press ctrl t to what to transform so when i have it just like that over here i'll make it 0 0.0 0 0.11 0 0.11 inches just like that and then i'll just have it just like this okay and that is how i wanted it to be so i'll let this one come over here then i'll drag this thing to the last of this just like that okay and then i'll bring it over to this particular place too then i'll drag another line to somewhere like this over there then i'll let it come somewhere like this and then i'll just rotate it 90 clockwise just like that and i'll let it go to the edge over there then i'll have it just like that over there and over here too i'll do the same thing to it and i'll have it just like that okay so there is this particular area is the bleeding area so let's also work on the trimming area so the trimming area does the same thing i have to do over here over here i'll just drag a distance to it just like that and on top there to over here i'll have a line to over there just like that and over here to i'll rotate it again and then i'll have it just like that over there and then i'll have it just like that and i'll drag another distance over there I'll just drag something over here to over there. Then I'll over here to I'll do the same thing to it. Then I'll drag something to over there. You see that I've just made my listing very very easy and lovely. And as you can see, all what I need to do, just watch me. Over here, I'll come out with a color over there, and that particular color is the red, and that red will be the 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 bleeding area. And then I'll just duplicate it and I'll change it to something like this. And this particular color should be the this thing. Uh, what is the name? The trimming area, just like that. Okay. 
yes and the next thing again i have to do is to come up with a white background and that one will be my design area so over here will be my design area just like that just like that so it helps you design something on this particular distance so however the thing is that it will never when you are trimming it will never enter here when you are bleeding it will never enter on the design area you see that so this is how we do it and then you can now start designing so first of all let me just close out everything and then i'll delete everything away because i don't need it so i'm just going to delete everything away so the next thing i have to do is that i'm just going to design uh, the back the back the back of the card or where or just or let's just call it the front front and back it's front and back so let's design the back over there so over there all what i need to do is to put a color there but first of all let's move on to our business card details over here then i'll have it just like that so this is his logo so we are just going to pick the logo over there and then we just place it in the sector of the distance just like that okay and the next thing i again have to do is to draw is to transform it a little bit down so that i can use it so just like that okay very simple one and it's going to look so beautiful so over there i'll add a color there to that and this color should be this particular color over there just this color and i love it then i'll have it just like this and then the next thing again i have to do is to come out with a circle a return a circle over here then i'll just go shift to drag a perfect circle over there then i'll make sure that one is white because his bag is is because of the the distance the logo the logo background is white okay so i just have to do it this way then i'll just try and transform it to the sector of the distance then i'll have it just like that then i'll have it just like this okay yes and the next thing i have to do is to save my work just like that and the next thing again i have to do is that i'm just going to group this uh three layers over there just like that and then i'll call it back okay yes and then the next thing again i have to do is to just close it up just like that okay and i'll work with the front so from the front what i need to do is to come to a rectangular market tool over here then i'll just draw something like this and this particular uh this thing is just going to be very very simple and without any problem so when i draw something like this all what i need to do is to go to edit and i'll come to transform then i'll right click and i'll go to warp so when i go to warp i'll move on this one just like that and then i'll move this one just like this okay and the next thing again i have to do is that i'll just come and pick a tool over here called uh, add anchor point there then i'll come over here and just come and click and drag drag it a little bit so that i'll have it looks something like that okay and then i'll have it just like that okay so the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate that one over there and then i'll change the color to this particular color over there just like that and then i'll move this one somewhere like this and then over this one i'm just going to tilt it this way so that to look something to look something stylish over there then i'll have it just like that okay and then uh that one too i have to add the same color to it just like this over there you get that yes and then let's see what we are doing over here so the next thing again i have to do over this one is that i'll just drag this one a little bit over there so that it won't appear very very distant for me and then i'll just group all of them and then i'll group it just like that and now i'll come to fx then i'll add a shadow to it so in this particular shadow i just want the shadow to come up very well so i'll just drag the shadow out just like that okay and then i'll reduce the size then i'll have the shadow like this but i'll move it a little bit then i'll have it just like that and then i'll let it come i'll drag it in a little bit so that i'll just try and drag it on how i wanted it to be yes and then i'll have it just like that okay yes and i'll click okay then i'll have it just like that okay so the next thing again i have to do is to head over to my resources file over there 
then I'll just import in the uh, details over here that I'm going to use for that okay so business business card design okay here's it so I'll just come and drop in this particular destination over here so that is my details that I'm going to use over there so I'll add a color to it on top just like that so yes and I'll move it to the bottom of the listing over just like that and then over my listing now I'll just shape it a little bit okay then I'll make sure that I move this one a little bit there over there and then I'll let this one to go a little bit just like that and then I'll make the color white so that what I want to appear very well for me over there just like that and then I'll try and make my distance a little bit down okay then I'll have it just like that okay so the next thing again I have to do again is to come and open my details over there and then I'll come and pick a name called Isahako Isa Wompini that's CEO of Wompini uh, CEO of Wompini Agro then I'll just paste it over there and then all what I need to do is to reduce the black somewhere bold but I'll increase the distance a little bit so that it won't take much of my distance okay so I'll just limit a very smaller one just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick the chief executive officer over right there then I'll just come and paste that one too over here and then I'll change the color to this particular color over there and then I'll reduce the distance to somewhere then and that one should be like that okay then I'll move it somewhere like that so it will be like and I'll reduce the distance to uh, somewhere medium and I'll have it just like that okay yes and then the next thing again I have to do is to come and copy the number over there then I'll just come and paste the number over here then I'll have it just like that and I'll change the color to what white okay yes and then I'll have it just like that and I'll make sure that it's in light and then I'll come ahead of I'll come and pick the email address over there then I'll come and paste that one to over here just like that okay and then I'll come and paste, copy it, the website uh, URL there and then I'll just come and paste that one to over there just like that so we I just want to make some changes to my distance so I'll just drag this one a little bit over here so that I don't take much of the distance over there then I'll have it just like that and then uh, leave make this one somewhere like that then I'll come up with the guideline and so I want all my distance to be in line with this so I'll just have it just like that this one goes by this and this one goes by that okay yes so it has a whole lot of spaces that you can easily use on this particular distance so um, let's come back to the shape over there then we just have to have it just like that however let's come back to the uh, drop dropping the shadow over there and then we we'll make some changes to it so I just want to move the shadow to look something like that so that it will differentiate those two things over there without any problem yes and then I'll have it just like that okay and the next thing you're gonna have to do is to come and make some changes to this particular distance over there so that it will look uh, a little bit shadow then I'll have it just like that over there okay yes so when the trimming is done trimming is going to take all these places to trim all these places and leave only and only the design so it's, it will never enter to the, to the design it to only be on this particular distance yes so this is how business card very simple one has been designed in photoshop without any problem or intimidation so thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, ask questions and drop your comments in the comments box and I will reply you.